Hello, I'm Nicole Bolanda. I work for Rockwell Automation as the Customer Advocacy Program Manager, and we're here to talk about results achieved. We're joined with, by Kathleen Murray from Beta Technologies to talk about some of the results that they've achieved. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, how's it going? Good. Can you tell everyone what your title is and what you do for Beta Technologies? Yes, I am, am the ERP manager, so really just over the ERP system and working on the implementation of Plex. We're all technically team members, so you know anyone should be able to pick up and do anything to help out wherever needed. That's great. And where are you coming to Beta Technologies from career-wise? I know you worked for a couple different companies that kind of led you to this role. Yes. So I've I've been a Plex user or consultant for um, a total of probably geez, about eight years now, and started in automotive manufacturing and then um, was a consultant with a Plex partner. And in that role is actually how I met Beta Technologies and um, never thought that I would go back into the manufacturing side of things, but just fell in love with Beta. Um, it was a unique opportunity with them being a startup. And I thought, you know, this is so cool. How often do you have the opportunity to go in so early in the processes and set things up, you know, best practice in the way that you think they should be, so. Mm -hmm. Beta Technologies is really cool. I understand why you changed course career-wise to jump yes. in. Can you explain what Beta Technologies does? Yes, so um, Beta Technologies is based in Vermont and we are a um, aerospace manufacturer developing um, electric vertical takeoff and landing um, aircraft, also known as eVTOL. Um, so it will take off vertically, fly horizontally, and then land vertically. So that just really helps in like congested vertical spaces. Um, all electric, so very sustainable company. I love it. And earlier you said, take off like a helicopter, fly like a plane. Yep. I just think that's such a cool technology to yes. be a part of. Yes. And so you helped bring Plex on board, and it's a unique situation because we're not really manufacturing yet, right? Right, we're, right. we're not really in a state of repeatable manufacturing, um, so that was sort of challenging. Um, and, you know, we really have focused on the processes that are more mature, like our battery packs, um, and we're starting to record production um, for our motors as well now. But really started with batteries, they were the most mature process, one of the most important processes, because even though we are still in development phases, it's very important for us to be able to capture the um, traceability and know what parts are going into the product, who they came from, um, and also be able to collect some quality data around those parts. Yes, and it's not just important for your own knowledge. You need this for certification, I'm guessing? Yes, like? yes. So we are working towards our FAA certification. So we need those systems in place. You know, it's a unique situation. We need to be able to prove that we can um, handle production, traceability, you know, all of those things that go into production before we're really in a full state of, of doing it, so. What an interesting situation. And I think a situation that a lot of customers watching are probably a bit envious of, that you can set it up exactly how you want it. Um, so tell us why you chose to put Plex in place, what your goals are for the future and like how you see it growing as you get more manufacturing online. Yes, so you know, eventually we, we plan to be very, um, you know, integrated and using all of, of Plex capabilities. It's been very exciting to see what Rockwell will be able to bring into it um, with some of the other the other products. Um, but, you know, we want to have a full manufacturing plant with a, a digital work instructions put right at the operator. You know, we're, you, we're um, in the process of, we've already integrated with our CAD software, so we're bringing in the um, design, spill materials, new parts. So we've integrated that and automated that process so it flows through using the part workflow to all the appropriate departments. So purchasing can set up everything that they need to, manufacturing is aware of a new design, quality can set up all their part specs and control plans. Um, so we're utilizing that already. 
Um, and yes, just very excited for continuous improvement. That sounds really nice to have that level of integration right out of the gate. Um, what else is coming with the so, next steps? Yeah, so the next step is we're currently working on, um, we've, we've purchased the automation and orchestration module and we're working on integrating that right now to our um, torque drivers and, and some of our other um, wire bonder and testing equipment for the battery packs so that we can get that quality data um, directly from the tools and equipment and make sure you know there, there's no operator error in that data because it is very important to us. Mm -hmm. And we're all human, so yes. it's, yes. you know, if we don't automate some of that, yes. it's gonna happen. But, yes. Wow, so some really neat results to be achieved. Absolutely. Coming up in the future, you said you've already you know, got things in place to help with certification, so that's one box ticked, but I'm so excited for you guys and for the future places that you take your technology as well as Plex and Rockwell tools supporting you. So thanks Beta Technologies for being a really neat, innovative leader. We're so glad to be able to work with you. Yes, thanks very much.